Hey, it's the coach. You're tuned in to Sunday Night Football on EA Sports. Up next, we'll see Jared Goff and the NFC champion Los Angeles Rams as they match up with the great Aaron Rodgers and the Green Bay Packers. With that, let's get up to Green Bay, Wisconsin. Standing by for the call from venerable Lambeau Field, here are Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. Coach, the tundra may not quite be frozen, but it's getting there as we work our way through December. The radar today, however, is clear at Lambeau Field in Green Bay. We all know this community lives for its Packers, and the green and gold came out of the tunnel a short time ago, and it was loud. We are ready for football. So are they as the Packers get set to match up with the Los Angeles Rams. From up top, I'm Brandon Garden. Charles Davis, as always, with me as well. And CD, defenses better be on their toes in this one because we got two quarterbacks who love to throw the football, and they throw it very well. Over 4,000 yards each in the previous season. So what you're saying is, if you're a defender, hope you're prepared properly. Hydrated, stretched, be on your toes, as you said, because the ball's coming your way. Mason Crosby of the Packers has it teed up, and off we go from Lambeau. This is taken at his four. And he'll make it across the 20 as his guys will set up shot at the 23-yard line. The Rams offense ready to go to work, and it's Jared Goff who leads them out. Number one overall pick back in 2016. If you look at it, his rise falls right in line with the arrival of Sean McVay as head coach. Two years ago, 0-7 start as a rookie, but since then, 24-7 in the regular season the last two years. On first and 10, golf. It's complete. This is Todd Gurley. And he takes this up to the 40-yard line before being corralled. 17 yards on the catch and run. It's a first down. So quickly all the way up at the 40-yard line. You better be afraid of me. Shoot, shoot. A shotgun snap for goal. And the open receiver, it's Robert Woods. And he'll work it across midfield inside the 45. A good pickup, 17 yards, and also a Rams first down. Back-to-back -to -back good plays have him on the move on first down. Goff now looks to throw. Into heavy traffic, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Tremont Williams. Fighting through, and he's got space. To the end zone, it's a pick six and a Packer touchdown. Well, partner, I do know this. If you're a defensive back, you have more chances to make a team now than ever because people are using five defensive backs, six defensive back packages. Not exclusively, but way more than before. That was a nickel package there, and what a pickoff. Why is that? Why are they using that more? Because more people are throwing the ball on earlier downs than ever before. This has become a passing league, and because of that, more defensive backs on the field on most plays. This is taken at his four. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. And now out on the field, here comes Los Angeles. And following the pick six, and they have decent field position in throwing that pick six. We'll see how they attack this drive. And I think all you say to your guy is, listen, let's just take care of the football a little bit better. Make some better decisions on this drive, and they'll probably help him a little bit with maybe some really high percentage throws early to let him get settled back in. But they told him, and they told us, they've got confidence. That, that's not a problem. Yeah, not a problem at all. They just want to make sure they get things settled down a little bit for their offense and give their defense a little bit of a chance to rest. The last run got a couple. Here's second and eight. Now gone. They'll find Everett there, complete. Now third down is looming, a pickup of two on first down and just one yard there. 
And a peek at the defense for the Packers. Safety Adrian Amos was a free agent in 2018, and division rival Green Bay took note and brought him to Wisconsin to patrol the center of their defense and also drop down near the line of scrimmage and make some big-time plays in the running game. What we got? What we got? What we got? Throwing on third. Gone. He's going to dump it off to Gurley. And he's got the first down yardage before he's brought down at the 42. The drive stays alive. A third down gain of eight. We've seen quite a bit of the short passing game here early on first quarter, haven't we? We have, and I think it works a couple of ways for, for this team because, number one, you throw the short game until they stop it. And if they're not going to stop it, you keep throwing it, and occasionally you break a tackle and turn into a bigger game. Also, if they start to creep up, start to pressure receivers, now you go over the top, take it deep, and now you get some of those big shots downfield. They'll fake the handoff. Now gone. And Woods has it complete. And he's going to get this one down to the edge Let's of the go, red man. zone. Let's go. A good pick up there, a 22. Goff now, after the pick on the last drive, three for three to start this drive. It's first and ten. Now the third leading rusher in the NFL last year, Todd Gurley. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down, second and right at a yard. A nice run there, nine yards, and it'll be second down. Now on second down, this is Gurley. And now they're inside the 10 as he's brought down at the 9. Now that's the way to do it. Hand it to someone with vision and good footwork. And they have a little bit of power. And you find a way to pick up first downs. Eluding the pressure right to the goal line, but it's incomplete. Yeah, that one sailed on him. You've got to make sure you give your receiver a chance to come down inbounds because they are very gifted. They'll make the circus catches, but they make them out of bounds. That does you no good. Now a second down throw for the end zone, but it's incomplete. Woods the intended receiver, but now it's third and goal. Get your backs to the goal line. I can hear my high school coach right now. This is when force meets force. Got to be physical in order to win this battle. <laughs> yeah, that's where the physicality pays off. A nice job forcing the contact and forcing the incompletion. Yeah, Coach Ford would have loved that play. And he's going to be taken down here still a couple yards short of the first. That pass play good for seven, but it still brings up a fourth and goal. So on fourth down, here comes Greg Zerline to try and get three for the Rams. From the right hash at a bit of a tight angle. After one, seven, nothing on EA Sports. And Zerline's kick is good. And they are on the board, but still trailing. It's seven to three. Zerline, of course, last year had likely the iconic field goal of the season, booting that 57-yarder in the Superdome to send his squad to the Super Bowl. Yeah, you really hurt the Saints fans on that one, didn't you? Sorry. They didn't want to hear that at all, but this guy deserves his nicknames. Greg the Leg, Legatron, because the ball goes through the post at a heavy rate, 87% in 2018. The Packers take the field. Aaron Rodgers at the helm, 2019, marking his 12th season as the Packers starter. 15th season overall. Last year for Rodgers, 25 touchdown passes, just two interceptions. Rodgers will break the huddle and bring the pack up first and 10 at their own 23. Shotgun now for Rodgers. And he just gets rid of it, throws it away. The wise move there looked like nobody open. Now second down. Got out of the pocket. Didn't look like he had anybody open, Charles, so just gets rid of it. And a good play by him. If no one's open and you don't have a running lane that you want to take, make the right choice. Get rid of it. Live to fight another down. And this may be a carbon copy as he'll again be stopped right at the line of scrimmage. Absolutely love the effort there. The ability to flow from his inside spot and stop that one at the line of scrimmage. Nice linebacker play. Throwing his Rodgers on third down. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Marching in for the sack, Michael Brockers. 
They were trying to set up that screen, try to get that screen to formulate. Took too long. Ends up taking a sack, and that leads you to a couple of other questions. Number one, why don't you just get rid of the football near the screen, guy, so that you don't take an interception? But really, the big one, they just took everything away, and he was really kind of flummoxed on that play and ended up taking the sack. Great blocking nearly sprung in there. 28-yard return. And the Rams are going to start this drive in great field position as they take over. Goff on first down. Flush to his right. He gets it to Cooks. And all the way inside the 15 before they drop him. The catch and run going to wind up netting him 33 yards. I know we love our jobs, and pretty much any play we see, we're pretty, you know, excited about. But big plays, let's face it, that's what we absolutely live for. How about that one? That was great, and what our camera missed was the fist pump from the sideline after that catch. They're fired out. That's a big game. It's a six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. They go play action with Gurley. Now golf. And it's complete. He's got it in the end zone. Touchdown Rams. Robert Woods there to make the grab. And the Rams have taken the lead. Well, that's about as quick of a passing touchdown as you'll ever see right there. Everyone has a section in their playbook called the quick game. That was a super quick game. Out of the hands of the thrower. Bam, right to the receiver, successfully for a touchdown. How in-depth is that quick game part of the playbook? It's pretty in-depth because people want the ball in the hands of the quarterback into the playmaker's hands downfield as fast as possible. There are a lot of plays, a lot of options involved with that. Now after the touchdown, it's Zerline. He'll kick it away. This will be fielded at the six. And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get it up to the 29-yard line. The Packer offense ready to get their next drive underway. And they'll certainly be trying to do better than that first drive where they went three and out. And sometimes the first drive is just simply to settle nerves. You know what it's like at the start of a game with the emotion. Guys a little bit I don't, jumpy. But you do. Oh, you, you understand the same way. Just like us calling one, right? Making sure we ease into the game, let it come to us. Well, you went and three now and out. that opportunity. <laughs> uh, no, you didn't go three and out. I went three and out on that first time. I'll try to do that. I think he's going to go. They're not going to get him. Touchdown, Packers. Marquez Valdez Scantling, 71 yards. And once again, the Packers, they're back out in front. They erased that deficit pretty quickly, did they not? A two-play drive. What do we call that? Short-lived? Very. <laughs> Very short-lived. Two plays later, they're in the end zone and back out in front. We always talk about drives, don't we? Does two plays count as a drive? Not really, but that second play was so good. I don't care what we call it. It was enjoyable to watch. Pretty clean and simple there. Just two plays, the long pass resulting in the touchdown on play number two. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. Jared Goff and the Rams headed back onto the field. He's had a solid start to this game, but bottom line is they're losing, so he doesn't care about his stats. He just wants to write the ship on the scoreboard. He wants to actually increase his stats because he feels like if he does, that means things will get better for his team, maybe get him back into the ball game or into the lead. In these situations, I remember playing with a quarterback once where he actually ran out onto the field first ahead of everyone else just to say, guys, let's go. Try and create that energy, create that spark. And so far, he has one touchdown, one interception. He'll be looking for that second touchdown now. And he was able to shed the tackle, but the reserves come in for the stop. Give him four yards on the play, and that will lead us into the two-minute warning. And we've hit the two-minute mark in this first half of action. 
Fans, a reminder, I have a note card here that says ad-lib halftime preview. So I guess let's do just that as we'll hand things over to Jonathan Coachman in Orlando when this one reaches halftime. Did I do okay? You did here great. Go, Not a go. bad job, hey, but, you know, writing down your ad -libs. If you print it, I'm going to read it. I'm Brandon Gauden. Switch out, switch out. On first down, it's Gurley. It's a pickup of four, and it'll bring up second down. One thing to keep in mind, partner, especially in the second half, when you've got a running back of this size, of these dimensions, I can just tell you, attrition does set in for a defense because you're excited about hitting him in the first half. Maybe not so much in the second half, and some of these shorter gains turn into bigger runs later. Three yards is half of what they needed. Now can they get the other three here on third down? A good chance this is four down territory if they're unable to convert. But right now looking at a third and three. Open man is Higby, the tight end. And boy, he is very close to a first down, but from where they're spotting that football, he's going to be a foot or so short. One hallmark of good defenses is understanding the game, understanding positioning and tackling immediately in the secondary after catches. I think we just saw that on display right there. Got to him before he ever had a chance to think about turning it upfield. And that will wind up just short. He had it on line. It ran out of gas at the end. And this score will stay right where it is. And that's the risk of the long field goal miss here at this stage of the second quarter. You give up great field position. And that gives them one more opportunity to make something happen and something big. And we've seen crazy stuff happen at the end of halves. About set to get this drive started. The Green Bay offense at the line. Here's Rodgers to throw. He gets this to Devontae Adams. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. The Packers going to use one of their timeouts as they get it right at the 32nd mark of this first half. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Tight end right, tight end right. We got four. We got four. From the gun, it's Rodgers. Flushed out right. And that's complete to Adams. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. Now a timeout taken. Perhaps a chance for one more quick play and then another timeout if they hurry. We'll see. So even though it's first down, here's the field goal unit on now to try to get three before halftime. From the right hash, this from 33. And the 12-year veteran knocks it right through. And that moves him up by a touchdown now at 17-10. So a capper there to a pretty good first half. And I love the way that they put a chokehold on the clock and pretty much drained everything before they put the field goal on the board as they headed into the half. And this will be a touchback as that sails over the end line. Set to begin their next drive, the Rams offense at the line. Likely time for just one final play, and then it'll be off to the locker room to talk about how they can erase this deficit. Yeah, and I think a lot of people look at it and go, well, maybe you take a shot here. Maybe you get some momentum going into the half. What's the flip side of that? You do something crazy, quarterback gets hit, ball comes free, and now you're down an even bigger margin. Go ahead and take this one, go to the locker room, start over. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much, and welcome everyone to this abridged version of the EA Sports Halftime Report. This one has been a hard-hitting affair to this point, and you gotta expect we'll see more of the same in the second half. And to bring the action your way, let's get it right back out to Brandon God. Okay, Coach, appreciate it. A one-touchdown game here as we get set to resume play in the second half. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. The Green Bay offense now about ready to take possession here. They have the lead. Now they'll be looking to extend that lead. 
And this is where I enjoy talking about one of my favorite subjects, tendency breakers, or counters as I also like to call them. You've done things in a certain way in the first half, and they've had ability to see what you've done. They're going to make their adjustments. So guess what? You adjust yourself and try and stay ahead of the pace because you are looking for some separation in this ball game. The adjustment to the adjustment. Without a doubt. <laughs> show them one thing, hit them with something else. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. Rodgers now throwing again. That's caught by Geronimo Allison. And he's got room. And great yardage here all the way deep into Los Angeles territory. A big play there on the catch and run. And even 60 yards. Line of scrimmage moves from their own 25 all the way to the red zone now for first and 10. Working from the gun, Rodgers escaping the pressure right. Open here is Allison, that's complete. And it looks like he'll be just a yard shy of the five here as he's out at the six. Give him nine there on the first down completion. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to... And he will get this into the end zone. Touchdown, Green Bay. A six-yard touchdown run. And the Packers are able to stretch that lead out further. Always important to get the first score of the second half. Now you start to pull away a little bit and get some breathing room going. And now we find out about the fortitude of the group that's behind because they were counting on getting into the game a little bit more, right? Maybe they get the first score. That doesn't happen. It looks almost insurmountable, but it's not. Let's see how hard they play the rest of the game. This one fielded at the five. And good starting field position. He'll get this one all the way up to about the 35-yard line. Out come the Rams. They'll have it first here to begin the third quarter. And their halftime hole now even deeper. And they need a big drive here just to answer the first touchdown of the second half scored against them. They were down at the half. Now, as you mentioned, they're down a little bit bigger, but no time for discouragement. Just got to get back to it, right? Put your shoulder against the boulder and start pushing and try and get back to where you were to start the half. You know, despite the scoreline, I think they've got to like where they are here. They're on the road and just one big play away from getting right back in this game. I'm going to follow right along with you because the spot they're in now is a credit to their defense. They've kept them in it by making the plays that they've made, and that just means you're one big score away from being right back there. Now the question is, can this offense step up and make that play? Because that's been an issue for them in this game. Eluding the pressure right. He can run for it, and he will. And he's able to get this to the 40-yard line before he's out of bounds. 23 yards on the tuck and run. Sometimes guys get locked into such a groove. What do we call it? The game's slowing down. They see everything happening almost in slow motion. They see the lanes develop. I feel like he's right there. Well, and you want this from your leader, right? With this deficit, this stage of the game, second half, no quit in him. Zero. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. Oh, I like that right there. Not only was it the right play, throwing it away like that, frankly, I think it was the only play. Yeah, got outside of the pocket, realized he had nothing, just chucked it free. Yeah, lived to fight another down, right? Goff's throw taken in by Reynolds. And they will eventually get him down, but he's inside the five all the way to the three. That one good for 37 yards. Obviously, they're not where they want to be right now on the scoreboard. Big plays like that, though, that'll trend them in the right direction. Yeah, a few more like that, they'll be right back in the game. And if they can continue to do that, maybe they'll inspire their defense as well and get a few stops. Now it's Gurley. And the D not yielding much there. He's only going to get a yard to about the two. Todd Gurley standing by his lonesome in the backfield here. Second and goal. Back to throw. Gone. To the end zone, but knocked away and incomplete. 
all defenders get tired of hearing about their lack of hands and why they're playing defense instead of offense. But in this situation, it was the hands that made the play. Batting the ball away on an attempted touchdown pass. Excellent job. Way to knock it down. Meanwhile, on third down, they take a shot at the end zone, but it's incomplete. So they opted to pass for it on third and goal. Let's see what they do on fourth and goal. Well, I think they threw it with the idea that if they didn't get it, they would go for it on fourth and goal. So they've got another play in their pocket. They're going to have to call it right now. No field goal here. Zerline's kick is up and through. And high fives for that one as that drive ends in three. So it's an old school extra point that counts three times. So it's certainly a disappointment they weren't able to get it in the end zone. Yeah, I can just imagine post game, head coach looking at the box score, 19 yard field goal, grimacing a little bit, but having to realize that at that moment, getting three points was vital. Go ahead and get the points, put them on the board. And that drives Let's coaches insane, doesn't it? When they see that happen, it just, it just doesn't feel right, does it? Plus, you're giving up yardage. Rodgers now on first down. He's going to rifle one deep left side. And that is incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. Even without a ton of pressure in his face, it just shows how difficult it is to pick apart his own defense. Those guys are sitting back, and they're not playing receivers as much as they're playing the eyes of the quarterback and when he delivers the ball. To throw again on second down, Rodgers, and that will be incomplete. Tried to dial up the long way way out there, but it'll be third down. So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has him staring at a third and ten. They'll run with a backup. This is Williams. And he gets this only to the 41, not near enough for the first. That's a really good job right there. Just kept stringing that play out, pushing further and further towards the sideline. Really good fundamentals by that defense. He was trying to put his foot in the ground and turn up field. He just couldn't. No, they really had a picket fence in front of him. No room to find to get upfield. Here's the Los Angeles offense as they get set to take possession. And they had three points last time, but they didn't want three points because they were well within range of scoring a touchdown. We'll see if they can do better now. I'm with you on that one. Let's just go ahead and be frank about the whole thing. The only one happy about the three-point kicker. Exactly. He put it through the post. That's going to help him at contract time. But that offense, they're thinking, let's get in the end zone this time. I don't know if that helped him at contract time. You, you could have kicked that one through. I don't know about that. Too bad. I don't know about that. <laughs> Super tall. <laughs> and he'll go down at the 26, following a gain of six. He's able to rattle off six on the carry, and that'll get him to third and four. Gone. Yeah, able to find Higby. It's complete. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Back now at Lambeau. It's the Rams trailing, but they do have the football as we start the fourth and final quarter. Jared Goff, four times last year, he led the Rams on a fourth quarter comeback. He obviously didn't do it in Super Bowl 53, but can he do it here? Trying to find Cup, but it's intercepted. Picked off around the 41. Partner, we always talk about possessions being at a premium in these games, and now in this situation, throwing an interception here when you have to claw your way back in, that one's going to hurt, and in a big way. They go play action here on first down. Got an open man. It's Valdez Scantlin. Touchdown, Packers. Marquez Valdez Scantlin. Two catches, two touchdowns here so far. And the Packers are able to stretch that lead out further. They were still throwing with a comfortable lead here late, and now that lead even more comfortable. And your first thought is, is there bad blood that went into this one ahead of time that maybe they're seeking some revenge or they just don't like them? But the other thing that always hits me is, are they worried about playoff positioning? Right? Are they worried about, do you need enough points in case there's a tiebreaker that comes into play later? Now after the touchdown, here's Crosby to kick it away. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. And now out on the field, here comes Los Angeles. And following the interception, just any interception, are you a little bit more cautious when you start that next drive, or no, you just throw that out the window? I 
think you are. I don't think that there's any way you can run back out there and go, ah, you totally ready? didn't you affect ready? me. Let's just go ahead and be loose with the football again. You're going to take care of it, but you have to be careful about being too cautious because now you can't run any offense at all. Still want to attack. We'll see how they attack them here. So one play, and they're already just shy of midfield. Out of the gun. Gone. And he's got the hook up here. It's Woods. First down, Los Angeles there with a pickup of 14 yards. Woods coming off by far the best year of his career. 86 catches, over 1,200 yards. Now he's hoping to build on that. But, well, he was a key cog in the wheel that took them to the Super Bowl last season. And this is caught inside the five. And out of bounds all the way down at the three. A very nice pickup of 33 yards. Uh, defensively, I know they have the comfortable lead here in the fourth, but they do not want to give up big plays like that. They want to finish strong. So oftentimes in this situation, you tighten up underneath in your coverage and you bring your safeties back. They can pick up anything that leaks through. But in the meantime, upfield, you're making plays on the football. They'll go again from the three here on second and goal. They'll try and push it in with Gurley. And he takes it across for a Rams touchdown. A three-yard touchdown run. And the Rams are able to cut into this lead. And they're able to run it in. It started with the battle in the trenches. They won there, and they got in for six points. And that's going to be a tough one for the defense to deal with. They've got to go to the bench now and figure out how are we going to slow down this running game because on that particular play, they had no answer. And he'll get into the end zone as the two-point conversion is successful. The Rams going to go ahead and use the first of their timeouts. That'll leave them with two remaining. We'll be back after this. Two scores down, two timeouts at their disposal. This is a critical onside kick. This one's going to be covered up by the Packers' hands team. Well, for a second there, I had flashbacks to a few years ago, the NFC Championship game for the Packers, but here they're able to hold on. And many things changed in Green Bay after that game. Personnel, people coaching, the whole deal. And in this case, they get it done. No fail like they had in Seattle. Now he'll let it go deep left side. And that'll wind up incomplete. Try to give his man room to run under it, but it's second down. Despite the lead here in the fourth, they're still taking shots. Not content to sit on this lead at all. And to me, it raises the question of what's right in this game nowadays? Do you sit on the ball and run it because you have enough of a lead? Or do you try and extend it because you always feel like the other team can come back? Extend it. Have some fun. A gain of 10 as they look to add on to this 10-point lead. Under four to play now. Clock running, third down. Shotgun now for Rodgers. And time finally runs out. He can't get rid of the football, and he's taken down. The perennial pro bowler, Aaron Donald, gets the sack. Well, every now and then, you just absolutely outguess yourself. Third and inches, and they decide not to run the ball, you end up seeing the end result. The end result was not good. They elect to pass, and it backfires. Here's a Los Angeles offense as they get set to take possession. And for them, a touchdown their last go around. Obviously, they'll be hoping to do that again. And when you start plotting for this drive, when you start thinking to yourself, okay, what are we going to do? You don't go away from what you did before because that worked, but you have to be prepared for wrinkles and counters because you know they'll make some adjustments. And they worked this well upfield across the 45. That'll be marked as a 27-yard pickup. Now it's gone. And he'll find his target, Woods. It's complete. And he's got this down to the 35. It'll be a first down for the Rams there on a pickup of 18. So into Packer territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 35-yard line. To throw is gone. And that's going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. They went with a dime look on defense. Two extra defensive backs on the field and covered up essentially every blade of grass. 
That's allowed them to disrupt the play. Here's second and 10 now from the 35. Throwing again is gone. And Woods has it complete. And he gets this one inside the 15, just a yard or two shy of the 10. 23 yards the pick up there. So it's Rams football here as we get your reset. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. Here's Gaw. Flush to his right. And he's going to keep it here. And he will score. Touchdown, L.A. Jared Goff, his second touchdown of the night, as they are now just an extra point away from making this a three-point game. Okay, game on. Don't go anywhere yet. you got a one-score game now. Probably going to rely on the onside kick coming up. Yeah, they have to. It's not a high-percentage play, but it's better than not having a chance at all. And that's when you put your leapers and your flyers on one side, get that high hop, and hope that one of the guys can come up with it. And on the other side, get that hands team ready. No doubt about it. And whistles, and we're going to have another stoppage of play as they call the timeout on defense with 1.53 left. So just under two minutes to play, and this would figure to pretty much be your ball game right here. And this one's going to be covered up by the Packers' hands team. And now looking at the clock here, they do have two timeouts, but even if they force a three and out, they're going to have very little time remaining. So that means they've got to be aggressive and find a way to knock the ball free. They've got to come up with it because they can't just rely, as you noted, on using their timeouts and getting the ball back. They might not have any time to mount an attack, even if they do play it that way. Get the football. That's their mantra. Now the Rams will signal for a timeout their second. And they'll be disappointed to have to burn one there after giving up the first down. It's first and goal and a late touchdown at this stage. Could officially salt this one away. They'll try and run. This is Williams. And this play doesn't go anywhere. Backwards, losing yardage to the 11. The Rams going to be forced to use their third and final timeout as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. So they get pushed back to the 11, and here's second and goal. Back to the ground, this time with Jones. And here he'll get it down to the 7. It'll be a gain of 4, but it'll bring us now to a third and goal. A big play to start the drive got him in this position, but this defense has held firm since, and now it's third and goal. They'll run it with Williams. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. Give him a couple on the run there, and now they're in that in-between area here on fourth and goal. It's now fourth and goal. it through and that will double their lead as it's up to six so they get the three but you wonder now is that going to be enough excellent question because when i look at the smiles on that side of the field it's a little tight aren't they if they had scored a touchdown there those would be big half moon grins right now because <laughs> they feel a whole lot better about their position well, and a touchdown in the other direction all of a sudden they're down after the made field goal now crosby will do the kickoff duties And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. So Goff and the Rams down by six, 27 seconds to go. And they've got to travel to full 75 yards and time is obviously a huge factor here. First and 10, flushed out right. Now a desperation throw deep downfield and that is incomplete. Showed off the arm strength there, but to no avail, second down. These are the spots, this stage of the game, where it pays to have speed on the perimeter, doesn't it? It certainly does, and in the second quarter, he may very well run by him, but in this situation, I know as a defender, I'm loosening up a couple of extra steps that allowed him to run with him stride for stride. 
He's going to let it fly. And that will be incomplete with a clock down now to 13 seconds. Big play coming up. Here's third and ten. I would expect to see some pressure here. And the blitz does come. That'll be incomplete with nine seconds now showing on the clock. And we've got a timeout. Nine seconds remaining. So down six, and they know they need this one on fourth down. Here we go on fourth. Gall escaping the pressure right. And this is incomplete with a clock showing just three seconds left. They had to go for it with such little time remaining. And that's going to be just about all she wrote for this one. Rodgers will take a knee here, and that should be all she wrote. So it's all over. A Green Bay victory. And this one boiled down to the end, Charles, to simply too much Aaron Rodgers. We've seen this many times before, haven't we? And I'm sure we'll see it again in the future. Extreme confidence in his abilities. Extreme confidence in his teammates. Never thinks the game is out of reach because his right arm can equalize anything a defense can put out there.